Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to restore a backup and how to transfer data on the Motorola Edge 60 Fusion. Okay, so as you can see we are during the setup process and let's click on start. Okay, and in the beginning we have option to set up our phone using another device, so we are definitely interested in that. So on the second device, let's click on setup. In here it wants to enable the Bluetooth, so let's click on continue. And in here let's click Android device. Okay, now we need to scan this QR code using our second device. Okay, just like that. Okay, now we need to verify using the our pattern from this device. Okay, now we see the information that we need to continue the setup on our second device. Now it's automatically connecting to the Wi-Fi and we have getting your phone ready information. Okay, in here we have pri privacy and security features. You can enable or disable all of those options. I'm gonna gently slide for you to read about it. You can also read the Motorola privacy policy. Now click on this button, accept and continue. Okay, again, getting your phone ready. This might take a few minutes, so we just need to be patient. So let's wait until this process is finished. Okay, now we need to verify using our pattern. I must, I need to do it because I just resetted this phone, so it wants to me to verify. But if you buy a brand new Motorola, you shouldn't have that option. Okay, now getting account info. Now the network info. Okay, now we have option to connect to mobile network. We can download the eSIM or skip this. In my case, I'm gonna skip. Okay, in here you can set a pin. It must be at least four digits, but a six digit pin is recommended for added security. You can also click on screen lock security options and you can in change the type of the lock screen, of the screen lock, sorry. So you can select the pattern, the pin, or the password. It is completely up to you. But for now, I'm gonna click on skip. You can set it later in the settings. Okay, now we have copy data from your Android device. We want to click on next, but also we can do it later in the settings. Okay, getting ready to copy. This also may take a few minutes, but I assume it shouldn't. We can also see the information on our another device that we need to continue to set up on our Motorola. And now let's simply wait until we see something new on the Motorola. And also remember that you can do this process later in the settings. And I'm also gonna show you where to find that option. Okay, now we want to choose how to copy. So we can click on Express, it takes about three minutes. Only data that's not available in your Google account will be copied. You can also learn more about what is copied and you can also customize, choose what to copy from your other device. So it's up to you when I click on Customize, click on Next. In here, you can select the specific things that you want to copy and you can copy apps, photos and videos, messages, device settings and the call history. For example, when it comes to the photos and videos and the apps, you don't need to copy all of them, but you can simply click on apps and in here select or unselect the apps that you want or don't want to copy. So it's completely up to you. So in my case, I want I don't want my apps to be copied. 
I only want photos and videos, etc. and the rest of those things. Alright, so now we need to click on copy. And also remember that we have also the express option. Now I'm gonna show you the customized one. So we'll click on next. Once everything is selected, click on copy. And now, as you can see, the process is started. It shouldn't take that long because I don't have that many apps and it's not a big file. Okay, now we have the Google services. We can enable to use the location and allow scanning and also send usage and diagnostic data. You can also read what those options does. Okay, but if you don't want, you can also unselect it. Okay, now click on accept. You can also see on the second phone that the copying is done and we need to continue our setup on the Motorola. So on this phone, we can click on close. We won't be needing that anymore. Now we have backup your device using the Google services. We can enable the photos and videos and other device data. We can click on turn on backup, but if you don't want to click on don't right in here. Now we need to select our default browser and the search engine. In my case, I'm gonna select the Google Chrome, then click set as default. And now the search engine, I'm gonna use the Google. Okay, now the phone wants us to continue the setup. It asks us, so we can click on continue. Okay, now we have options to let contacts nearby find you and share with you. I'm gonna click on I agree, but it is completely up to you if you want it or not. Now we have the Google Assistant. I'm also gonna turn it on. Ah, but oh, now I'm gonna skip the Google Pay. I don't want it. In here we have review of additional apps. Those from Motorola and from Google. Then click on OK. And now we see the confirmation on the screen that the copying, that the copying process is done. Photos and videos messages, device settings, and the call history has been successfully transferred. You can also see under the photos and videos the information that we can view it or download it in the Google Photos. Okay, so now simply click on done. Now again, we have getting your phone ready process, but it shouldn't take that long. So let's wait a little bit. Okay, something changed. Okay, now we have stay in touch by Motorola. You can click on allow notifications or not now. In my case, I'm gonna click on not now. Now also the mail. I'm also gonna click on not now. Now live lock screen, I don't want it. So I'm gonna unselect it. Now the navigation style, you can select the buttons or the gestures. When it comes to the buttons, sorry, you can change the button order if you select it. You basically switch the back button and the recent apps by selecting or unselecting. All right, then click on next. In here, select the theme. I'm gonna leave the light one. Click on next. In here, you can set the parental controls. I'm gonna skip it. Now click on finish. In here, you have some tips about the Motorola, the Moto app, Moto account, personalized app, and the Moto tips. Okay, now simply click on go to my home screen and now your phone is ready to use. Some of the apps will be downloading in the background. We can see it on the home screen, for example, that one. And now let's open up the Google Photos to see if the photos are successfully transferred. And as you can see, they are. Alright, so that was the first method. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you the second method. So we are again in the setup process. Click on start. Okay, in here we're gonna skip setting up using another device. So now click on skip. Now we need to connect into the Wi-Fi. So that is what I'm gonna do now. So just give me a second. I need to type my password and connect all right now we have again getting your phone ready information 
again in here we have the privacy and security we need to click on accept all right now again getting your folder ID process but just like in the first method it shouldn't take that long I say it's max and max 30 seconds okay now checking network info and this method we want to restore our backup from the Google one or Google Cloud so if you don't know how to create such a backup on the Google one also on our channel there's a video when we are showing you the whole process so if you want you can look for it and find it okay and now in here we need to log in into our Google account the same Google account on which we created the backup it is really important because if you log into other one you won't have option to restore the backup so in here I, I will log in into my Google account so just give me a second okay then click on next and now I need to type my password okay then again click on next in here click on next I'm gonna be using this device not my child child or anything in here click on I agree okay again getting account info in here connect to mobile network in my case I'm gonna click on skip because I don't have the eSIM and here just like in the first method I'm gonna skip a pin I have shown you all of those options okay now copy ups and data click on next and now we have option to restore data from another device so we have all our backups which are stored on our Google account and I'm gonna pick the backup that I made on this phone as you can see 15 minutes ago so simply click on that in here choose what you want to restore in my case I don't want all of those apps to be copied actually let me let me see let's say I I'm gonna select only a few of them so let's say I want the TikTok the switch access and also the Android key verifier okay now click on OK now click on restore and now the process will start in here again we have those Google services that I have shown you in the previous method so I'm gonna simply skip it okay Google Chrome just like in the first in here, Google I'm gonna continue the setup I'm gonna click on everything just like in the first method and there I'm also describing you those options okay click on skip click on OK again getting your phone ready okay I'm gonna click on not now In here also I'm gonna disable the lock screen click on next I'm gonna leave the buttons click on next I'm gonna select the live thing and I'm gonna skip the parental control now click on finish now go to my home screen and that's the whole process now we are ready to use our phone and also I'm gonna show you that you can restore those you can restore the backup or transfer data even after the setup so you just need to simply open up your settings scroll down find backup or copy data now click on copy data using Android switch in here click on start and again 
using your another device you can scan the code or if you click on restore the backup oh, something doesn't want to click so let's try again backup or copy data oh, I think the phone is lagging because it just has been set up okay now copy data using Android switch click on next story start and you can also by clicking restore your backup you can restore the data from the Google one it's gonna be the same just like I have shown you like three minutes ago all right okay so that's all in this video thank you all for watching if you found this video helpful please leave a like comment and subscribe